Hello there, adventurers. Welcome to Djibouti City, where the sun shines bright and the adventures await. Let's dive right into your exciting itinerary. First stop, the place Menelik. This iconic square is named after Emperor Menelik II of Ethiopia and showcases a stunning statue of the man himself. You'll be transported back in time to the late 1800s when Djibouti was under French control. Soak in the historical ambience and snap some insta-worthy photos. Next up, we'll take a short walk to the Central Market. Get ready to have your senses overwhelmed by an explosion of colors, aromas, and sounds. The market is bustling with local traders offering a delightful array of spices, textiles, and traditional crafts. Keep your bargaining game strong, and who knows, you might walk away with a camel-shaped souvenir. Now, let's head to the Hamoudi Mosque. This grand mosque is a splendid sight to behold, with its intricate architecture and peaceful ambience. Take a moment to observe the locals as they go about their daily prayers, and don't forget to dress respectfully. Feeling thirsty after all that exploring? Fear not, for we're off to Lake Assel next. Brace yourself for a unique experience as you stand at the lowest point in Africa and the third lowest point on Earth. This hypersaline lake is known for its mesmerizing turquoise waters and makes for an unforgettable photo opportunity. Remember, it's so salty you can float like a cork but don't drink it unless you fancy an impromptu salt cleanse. Time to revitalize. Let's head to the Corambato Beach. With its soft, golden sands and sparkling waters, it's the perfect place to kick back and relax. Take a dip in the Red Sea, or if you're feeling adventurous. Try some snorkeling and discover the underwater wonders. Now, it's time to add a touch of history to our adventure. Visit the Djibouti National Museum, where you'll unravel Djibouti's rich cultural heritage. From ancient artifacts to traditional costumes, this museum is a treasure trove of knowledge and stories from the past. Hungry? Let's dive into the local culinary scene at Shea Sika. Get ready to tantalize your taste buds with mouth-watering jibushin dishes like skudakaris, a rice and meat dish, laho, a pancake-like bread, and merik fafa, a spicy soup. Don't worry, we won't forget the traditional tea to wrap up this delightful feast. Feeling energized? Excellent! Our last stop is the Grand Barra Desert. This vast expanse of sand dunes will leave you in awe of nature's wonders. Feel like a true desert explorer as you trek the dunes and capture breathtaking panoramas. Just remember, finding your way back is all part of the fun. And there you have it, an epic journey through Djibouti City's history, culture, and natural beauty. I hope you've had a blast exploring this gem of a city with me. Djibouti may be small in size, but its heart is as big as the smiles you'll encounter along the way. Safe travels! and may your adventures continue to be filled with laughter and joy.